What's up guys, and welcome to my Steam Backlog. Ah, from the title you can already probably imagine what this will be about, but if you have a Steam account then, well, you probably have more games in your library than you ever have time or any intention to actually play, and that very much holds true for me too. So I figured why not give myself a little push and actually kind of eh, force myself to play some of them, and if I'm doing that, why not record it, you know, the first 30-ish minutes of it and, you know, share some of my thoughts, first impressions, you know, stuff like that. So without further ado, uh, I mm, semi-randomly handpicked, <laughs> semi-randomly handpicked uh, six games from a library. Uh, the reason why I did that in advance is because, uh, so that I could uh, download them all at in I could download them all in advance, so I don't have to download them after picking one at random that I want to play. So I have six games chosen right now, which are Cladden Returns, so this is Sengoku, Dust Force, Lo uh, F1 2015, Long Live the Queen, Metro 2033, and Saints Row the Third. And I have here six pieces of paper with the titles of those six games, so you can probably see where this is going. I have my trust yield bean here, where I will put the title papers, a little mixing, some more mixing, and not looking at all what we'll actually pick. Ah, okay, that one feels good enough. So, it will be... I can't open this. Cladden Return, so this is Sengoku. Ah, yeah, you can probably make that out of... I actually said it out loud, the one I picked and not didn't just choose one. So, I guess just opening the game then. Let's hope my recording stuff works just fine. Okay, yeah, at least something is shown OBS, and... Guessing the... Well, there's certainly some sounds coming. There's like really, really silent background music, but then again the... Uh, sound effects sound okay. I'll just go with these and that's just, I mean, edit, editing if they are bad. Uh, I have no idea about any of these, but that's fine. Oh, I could, could check the resolution quick. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, I have seen some gameplay of this. I have never played this myself, which is the case with all of the games in this series. I don't know if this will be a series or a one-off thing, but anyway. So, I don't know about why much about what's going on in this, so let's just jump right in. New game. I guess modern sounds good. Japan, the Sengoku period. The years of civil war and unrest between feudal lords has finally come to an end. For some, their hopes were fulfilled. For others, their dreams were crushed. Now, a new story begins. Okay, create player character. I guess I'll go with male. Uh, please name this character. Okay. According to OBS, you can't actually see the character naming window. I guess that's fine. Ah, oh, just... Okay, he's called Ladle Tur. Okay, uh, set appearance. I like that samurai hat thingy, so let's just do that. Okay, I can pick the color. That's kinda neat. Oh! Okay. 
Well, I'll still go for this one. Ah, uh, nobody's job. Okay, for a quick look at the game like this, uh, I'm probably not gonna get a really good impression of all the stuff going on here. But, okay, let's just pick a samurai and set dialogue patterns. I don't even need to look at the others, I'll be a drunkard. Yeah, that's good. I've created a character. Am I naked? Okay. Well, slightly surprised, yes. Name's Yukimura. Only way getting out of here is by finishing the business you were left behind. Okay. Go talk to a troubled soul. Which I assume is that one. Also, just a quick look. There we go, we just checked the OBS, just checked OBS recording week, I guess it's fine, and if it's not, then do fucking bad. Oh, Jiro. Nice to meet ya. Woe is me. So I guess I'll try to find that castle then. Uh, obviously normally if I would be playing this on my own I'd probably spend like 15 minutes talking to every single NPC there is around here, but whoop, I might actually want to get to the meat of the gameplay too, if that's even possible in this short time that I'm recording. Well, I guess the guy, Yukimura, told to come back after I would talk to the soul, so... Warpstone, uh, I guess it's that thing you can barely see in the screen right now. Alright. Katana armor and shield have been given to me. Okay, so, chapter one, story and extra, okay, that's a promising sign that there, there's probably a nice amount of content. So, just picking this, I guess. Advance! Uh, let's see, okay. Well, if we're talking 360 controller controls, then X. Also, the square for PS4 controller is block, I assume. Okay, circle slash B is attack, I guess. A slash X was jumping and talking, and Y 
Well, why was mentioning that conversation earlier there? Not necessarily to kill most monsters, you can wa just walk by the more dangerous ones, okay. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool, at least I'll know what I have to kill and what I don't. Okay, oh, took some damage there already. Also kind of interesting and funny to see how the damage numbers have decimals in them. RB button to run, okay. Ah, while running your defense will be cutting half. Okay, so I guess... Okay, I swear to god I'm not gonna compare everything to Dark Souls, don't worry, but... Kinda like the instability frames in Dark Souls, if you're running or... Middle of dodging without actually dodging, then you take more damage than you would just standing still. I swear that was the last Dark Souls comparison. Okay, you can actually see your defense being held there. On the upper left. So, you are a suspicious mushroom thing? Oh god! I should have known. And while sliding, my defense is normal. Okay. Moving through grass or water will slow you down. Okay. I can jump over traps. Well, those certainly look, look like traps to me. So let's jump over them. Uh, you look like you're not doing so good. Okay, if the enemies don't see me, they won't attack me. That's cool. Ah, okay. So jumping attacks are also a thing. Uh, okay. Ah, your shield will decay as you take damage. And will uh, exiting the dungeon will restore it to full. Okay. And understandably, I can't use a shield with a bow, but also not with a hammer, too. And if I'm holding the block button, I strafe around, as the signpost said. Enemies drop G, money or SP orbs. Okay, I... Uh... Ah, I'll recover some SP while picking up the orbs. Oh god, I'm being slowed down by the spider. Ugh. Slowness. Oh, okay, I didn't even notice the <laughs> gate gate symbol on that guy. Okay, there we go, now my movement is back. And I guess why I lost some of those monies. Okay, so on the bottom right there's the E and A. I had been paying attention to it earlier. It might be that it shows that there's still three enemies left in the dungeon. Oh god. Oh, heal trap. Okay, that works. That kinda looks like a heart, okay. And I guess I can destroy this just yet. I guess not. And I guess the A might be for ally. And I guess there might be a total of 512 for both of them. Okay. Read every sign in this stage. Well, I want to do that, so let's find what I've missed. Whoop. Okay, I didn't take instant damage from activating the trap, at least that's good. Uh, da -da -da, yeah, traps become visible when I approach them. I guess I should have come here first. Uh, this looks like a chest or something like that. Okay, obtained a village spear. Uh, let's see, uh, da -da -da, items, village spear. No, let's not throw that away.
you either can't can't equip any other weapons yet, or it's not even a weapon at all, or I'm just stupid. Because I couldn't find a place for it just yet. Magic circle effect details. Uh, no idea what that means right now, but let's not dwell on that. I guess that might have been all the signposts, though. Okay, yeah, the door was already gone, I didn't even notice. And got some money and leather armor, maybe, I guess. Leather armor, familiar. Uh, I still don't want to... <laughs> maybe I'll get a tutorial about equipping stuff soon? Right now, this is just embarrassing. I guess also possible that I can't... Uh, can't equip them in the dungeon, but we'll see. Art of the Magic Circle will help you. Make a friend and bring him back here. Well, that's way too much to ask of me. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay. Let's find an owl then. I have access to the shrine. Okay, creating and editing characters. I mean, yeah, from what little I did see of this game, you can kind of create your very, very mm, unique and personal party and party members. You know, well, there was that full dialogue thingy decision, so yeah, I guess you can really make up their personalities too. And I think you can kind of like set them in different formations where you move around or something. Let's see if I've reached that. You mentioned something about an owl, so I'll just talk to you quick. Okay, well let's just go to the shrine and see what happens. Okay, well here's a lot of owls. I like the pompadour on you, so... Question to you, for you, the great old owl, great owl king. Uh, Jesus Christ, advice for beginners. Start off by making at least four new characters, come on, okay. I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but for a quick look at the game like this, then it's kind of a lot. You were up all night. Well, you shouldn't be. Whoop! Uh... I guess I'm making a face, then. Okay, Jesus Christ, you really can customize a lot in this game. I'm sorry I'm not gonna jump too much into that right now. I gotta get stronger before he will teach me. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. Jesus Christ. Okay, make friends. Let's create a friend before I because I don't have any. Uh, you can be friend number one. And you can have a cool robe thingy cape. Uh, you're a magician. An imbecile magician. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll just make Four friends very quickly. Ah, you look cool. You're a vile priest. A nervous vile priest. Friend three. A ninja looking guy. A ninja merchant who is also bored. 
This one doesn't have any name because I'm an idiot. I think I chose male, but you can be a pink haired girl. A saint after that. A scholarly saint. Male scholarly saint with pink girlish character model. So, I guess that's four of my friends and I guess I gotta go back to the... I already forgot his, God, forgot his name, something Yumimura. Yukimura. Uh. Okay. Well, yeah, I think the classes had something about the vessels and the lord, so I guess I might be the lord and the friends might be my vessels, maybe? Uh. Sure, teach me something about the magic circles. Okay, uh, press Y button to access the magic circle. You can't change it in a dungeon. Okay. Okay. The Lord occupies the center. So I guess I am the Lord, yeah. Vessels can be placed in the eight surrounding lit up spaces. The Lord does all the fighting, but the vessels take all the damage all the damage from enemies. The vessels are like shields but invisible. Let's place some vessels with them. Okay, so I'm not in control right now. Okay. Well, let's... Ah, okay, I'm still not in control. <laughs> okay, so certain spaces can have disadvantages. I assume some might have advantages too. Vessels also use their mana to activate artifacts. Uh, okay. That 7 there is the mana amount. Okay. So I can put artifacts in those spaces. And they are one of two types, okay. Okay, so my... Yeah. The mana dropped by two because it used two mana and I gained one death. Okay. Ah, okay, make sure you place artifacts so they're connected to vessels or they won't act activate. Ah, but you can, like, make a row of them. Well, I guess there are those, uh, arrow symbols, kind of, signifying that it goes from this to this and to this. Okay. Okay. I keep saying okay a lot, but this is all very, very new to me, so I don't have a lot to input here. But seems interesting so far. Artifacts that you can place anywhere, like mana plus one, will activate even if they're not connected to the path. Okay. Basic rundown. So now what? I don't know how it works exactly. Well, I don't either, but I guess that's fine. Strange stuff happens here all the time. High hopes for me. Okay. Many kinds of magic circles. Try swapping lords and vessels occasionally. Ah, okay, so I, it's not necessarily that my character is the lord all the time, I can just change them around, maybe? 
this is the first time I'm hearing this. Actually, not necessarily, since I did say I have seen some gameplay of this before, but it's been a long time. So, Magic Circle, I guess I'll just check around. Okay, so I guess I only have those two spaces for now, and there probably will be a lot of stuff to do here. Winding Wheel, I assume this is the name of this particular circle. Well, okay, let's just put the weird-ass man-lady there. The guy said something about equipment, but I am an idiot. I did not mean to take him away from there. Well, okay, I guess I could put him there. Ah, ah here's the equipment, okay. Okay, okay, okay. With its spear. So I guess there's no immediate comparison thing, but... Unless I'm blind, but I guess it's okay. But I could... Yeah, I could put the leather armor on myself. And... For you, I already removed you. Well, actually I could... I really don't know the buttons yet. Okay. Oh right, yeah, 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 the equipment is shared with everyone. Yeah, okay, so I guess I'm not really equipping any of these, really. I'm just equipping the Lord and all the others will get stats based on those, uh, those equipment, I guess. Maybe. At least I don't see a place to switch character. Well, let's see, if I change the Lord to Friend 2 right now, then... Okay. Well, I'll put the Village Spear and the Arcane Garb on you. So you have something now. What if I now... Uh, change the Lord back to this one? Okay, so it looks like the guy still has the armor on. But I might need to... I don't fucking know. <laughs> hey, let's go to the next dungeon. Advance! Okay, Master's color determines its strength. White is challenging. Wind sandal. What? Whoop, another enemy. What the heal traps are. Kind of a nice idea. Okay, I got some kind of mask thingy. Uh, and I guess they did mention that I can't enter the magic circle and therefore the equipment thingy while in a dungeon. Blue means it's weak to fire and absorbs ice, red means it's weak to ice and absorbs fire. Okay. Huh, I thought I broke one of these boxes, but I guess I was mistaken. Uh, Fred 2 has fallen. Oh no, uh, I guess I shouldn't try to fight you right now. Invalidity. Well, fuck. Green means high attack power. Black monsters, okay, yeah, let's not face black monsters. Also, I have 6 HP, so I'm probably gonna die in just a bit. 
because I'm also slowed down and all. Heal traps, heal traps. I'd like to loot all this stuff, but if I could maybe enter the portal thingy then. Exit found. Okay, I guess I did make it out alive. Some XP and some money. And I guess a little tur. Level it up. Learn new magic slash ability. Learn new magic circle. Okay. Access to a new dungeon. Ah, the shop is now open. Okay. So yeah, I can have these different, different, different magic circles here. I see. Well, let's put like those, for example, a uh, new recruit. I... okay. Well, it gives me one attack, I suppose, and there's also that... I guess that got me some extra defense, maybe? Or not, I'm not sure. I need to rise. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just missing around here, don't mind me. I guess that's good enough for now. So I suppose I, suppose I can quickly... Quickly, quickly. Ah! Equip the other characters too by just switching the their magic circle so that they're immediately in the center as the Lord or something. Cannon! If you can defeat him, you reach your goal. Okay, let's try this one still before quitting. Okay, slow traps and speed traps. Okay, it's kinda self explanatory. Oh right, I didn't block at all in the last dungeon. Probably would have helped. There's clearly something there, but I'm not sure how to break this. Jumping attack? Nah. So I think the green ones were like, strong. I'm not sure if that was a mimic or something. Okay, you have a door symbol, so yeah. Gate has been opened. Okay, so critical hits are a thing here. And once again, I just walked straight into a trap, but luckily it was a heal trap, so could have been worse. Also, yeah, they are invisible shields, so as you can see as I turn around, the formation changes, like my party moves, kind of. So, if I take hit... If I get hit from behind, I assume the ninja guy would take damage. The ninja merchant guy. If I understood the system correctly. Okay, when activated, deals damage to the surrounding area. Center of the trap is unaffected. Okay, so if I just step here, well, this can actually be convenient against enemies, I suppose. Uh, but do my guys heal? I guess they do. Exit found. Well, this was surprisingly easy. And assuming I can... Okay, you have access to a new dungeon. Well, I guess it makes sense clearing that one. Uh, 
What was I saying? Yeah, assuming I can go to old dungeons, I'll just try that quick. I can. So... I don't see a reason why I couldn't just take my sweet ass time and... Just grind and farm for money at the earlier dungeons and buy shit tons of cool shit for my party and stuff like that. Okay. Whoop. Did not mean to. Ah, okay. So the traps... Ouch. Do affect the <laughs> enemies too. That's good to know. That's... that's some very, very bad trap avoiding. Okay. I actually kinda like this game so far. But let's just run to the end of this dungeon. And yeah, I really, really skimmed over, like, the most of the... of the tutorial stuff and such, so most of it sadly didn't really stick with me yet. So, I'll... probably, yeah. Well, yeah. I guess this is enough for this little test here. So, closing thoughts. Yeah, I thought it was kind of fun, actually. Will I play this again on my own? Probably. Will I record any more of this? I don't know. Probably not, because uh, this might... I don't know how interesting this would be to watch. But yeah, it really did seem like there's a lot of customiza customization going on and really uh, tons of skills and I assume a lot of equipment and a lot of dungeons to go through and the base gameplay I thought it felt, you know, simple enough but not boring, so I enjoyed this greatly so far. So, this was Gladden Returns, this is Sengoku. So, yeah. I don't really have a lot to say here other than was worth trying out. I don't know if this Steam Backlog thing will will become a series or if this was just a one-off thing, but that much I can say that even if this becomes a series, uh, I probably won't have any schedule. I might make like four episodes a week if I feel like it, but there also might be like a month, month long break between episodes if I don't feel like making more, so don't expect this to be a regular thing. But hey, I had fun, hopefully you guys did too, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys sometime maybe. Bye!